Hello fabulous doll people. I got my Moonlight BJD house box today. It looks really nice. Um, I don't think so. Let's see the address. See the address. But it came pretty good. It strikes me as kind of funny how long it took because it took, I don't know. I mean, it did take a ton of time, but they're literally three hours for me. Like I could get in my car and go pick it up. And it took probably a week um, to get here. And that kind of struck me as funny. And I mean, I know it was coming from Canada and it did weird checks in Canada. Like it kept stopping and it was, and it was on their side. Cause it, once it came over here, I think it went pretty fast. But, um, today's Monday, the 28th. It's going to have to bear with me. I'm a little bit hungover still, mostly not, but, uh, Sunday I went to church and then I went out and had lunch at this really neat little uh, kind of like a drive-up diner. I live out in the middle of nowhere and it was out by like the fishing areas and stuff and it was really nice and had kind of a nice day and um, my boyfriend's paying off his debt real fast and then I started panicking about fitting into a wedding dress and so my adult response to that was to get real drunk and do my homework and then play Arcana and uh, spend a bunch of money on that game that I swore I wasn't going to play anymore. So, that's how I adult poorly. So anyway, I actually felt okay until the end of my work day and then I was real tired and I had a headache, which I'm sure is just because I was dehydrated because I know to not dehydrate myself when I drink and I do it anyway. But I'm still stuck in this, I'm just kind of hitting this point that where everything's turning on me and I'm not used to it yet. You know, my stomach's not as good as it used to be. I can't drink coffee. Like, I used to be able to drink as much as I wanted to, and then I probably wouldn't have any ill effect the next day. And just now I'm hitting where, like, I get hungover. Sometimes while I'm still drinking. <laughs> Don't so great. So anyway, so if I look weird or sound weird, or that's probably why. It's only, like, 9, and I'm ready for bed. So after this, I'm going to go to bed. I'm just dying to see this dress. Like, I wanted both so this dress came in three colors it came in pink like a dusty rose kind of a pink blue and a mint and i wanted if i mean really if i was independently wealthy i would have got all three of them i really wanted the the mint though in the blue but in the end i went with the blue which is kind of like a traditional alice color um it's the biscuit dolls alice forever alice dress um and then i also got a pair of eyes for my pasha pasha thirst which are real pretty. Uh, hopefully they're on the thing because I forget the name of the guy that did them. I will link them. And the guy that did these eyes, Moonlight BJ Day House, always has eyes from him. Like he has a new collection right now. He does different collections. Um, and they're really nice. They're resin and they're not, I mean, they're not dirt cheap, but they're not super expensive. And they come in like a bunch of different colors and a bunch of different sizes. Um, and I liked dealing with them. I've, I've heard some people kind of not have great things to say about them. I think mostly what people uh, have to not say, or what they didn't like about them was that they marked stuff up a lot. But I liked dealing with them. I thought they were super nice. Um, their website was easy to understand, which sounds like a stupid thing to pay extra for. But some of them, I don't know what's going on. Like, it's very difficult for me to purchase from them, and I have to ask a bunch of questions. And I thought theirs was pretty simple. I, I mean, I did have to ask a couple questions, but nothing major. And they're real nice. Very nice people. They got right back to me. Um, I bought this at the time. I was thinking about getting that huge horse. It was the SD-sized horse. And then the price on the horse kept going up. And the price on the shipping was getting, like, cray-cray. Like, they were saying the price on the shipping at one point, they were saying could possibly be more than the horse. I don't know, that doesn't even make, like, this ceased to make sense to me, so I didn't get the horse. So, um, I do, I do find their layaway a little strange, like, you do a down payment, and it's not really half, I don't know what it is, um, but it confused me because I, I don't know, it confused me because I don't pay attention, is really what it boils down to, but it is kind of odd, I don't remember what the percentage down is, but it's kind of strange, like, 
I mean, I could have made more payments on it, I guess, but, and then I kind of forgot about it. I was just about to message them when they sent out kind of a mass email to people saying, you know, we're sorry everything's taken longer because of the pandemic and the, I'm guessing the boats sitting in the shore and all that nonsense that was going on. Um, they were expecting, if anybody had outstanding orders, they were expecting them to be uh, filled. And my biggest concern that was that I would forget about it. And then also I switched, uh, I think, email accounts from when I ordered. Because I went everything. I had that zero for like ever. And then it just, I was getting so much spam in it. Like, I just didn't see the hope of digging myself out. And I had got the other account... Like, for one specific thing that I don't even remember what it was, and the, my Gmail account, and, um, I don't know, it just kind of made more sense. In the end, it was just easier to switch to, to that. And so I had emailed them to make sure they, they could switch it. They could, they would know who I was, was basically what it boiled down to. <clears throat> and, uh, at first, they totally had me confused with somebody else, and I was kind of concerned. <laughs> I was like, oh no, because I couldn't find um, that original email from whenever I had, and there were several back and forth because I was trying to figure out if I wanted the horse, and I couldn't find them. And I was like, great, you're not going to be able to find an email, and they were like, well, we don't have a order for you. But they found it, and they, were, and like I said, <clears throat> they were super nice, really, really nice, uh, really easy to deal with. I would buy from them again, you know, and maybe there was cheaper places to get it from. But you know, the bottom line is for me, I don't know where they are. And then there's people that are like, that use the proxies, and I have tried a couple times, but it's never worked out, and it isn't really anything other than timing, and then I think that, like, um, some of those places on Etsy, like Sophie's Toy Paradise and stuff, I think they're proxy services, because they have the same stuff, there's a dress I really want, oh, how cute, um, it's like a steampunk dress, and I forget what Place on, uh, you, want, you want that baby? Um, they're a shop they're, that's on the, I think the Japanese kind of version of eBay. <clears throat> and uh, they carry it because most of the proxy services, like I see it on there and I can get it through proxy service. And so they have a lot of the stuff that I would want to buy through proxy service anyway. But the proxy service is always, I don't know, I just, I just haven't had good luck getting it set up and getting it going and then by the time they get back to me and I get back to them or whatever, then, then I don't have the money anymore and it just has never worked. So, anyway. I guess guess what <clears throat> the bottom line for me is, is I'm saying I'm willing to pay for the convenience. So, I guess if it's convenient that, that there's a markup on it that is higher than I'm aware of. I'm, I'm not aware of it anyway, so what does it matter, right? <clears throat> so, they sent me this little card. It says thank you on the back, which is very nice. I love these. I'm supposed to be finishing unpacking, which I wanted to do before I started school because my computer is in my crap corner, which is where my doll stuff is. And I have I've done nothing with it. I just, my room is so boring since my TV went out. Like when I'm in here, I just don't want to be in here. My daughter said for my birthday, she was, she was thinking about getting me a TV. And that would be the greatest thing ever. And I think she would love that too because like when I had the TV in me here, I would come in here and watch TV and do stuff in here and then the kids would use the TV in the living room. And now because I don't, I'm in the living room all the time and so they don't, they have to go like, because they like to do stuff together. So they'll like go in either my daughter's room or my daughter go in my niece's room and they do things together in their room. But they used to do stuff in the living room, but now they can't because I have TV. So, so here's the box. Oh, oh wow. Oh, see this was the issue was, it's you, it's Taylor Craven. Which is my daughter's name. So I was like, oh, they're not going to know who I am. Um, oh, this is very nice. I'm, I'm uh, already a huge fan of this, this company, Biscuit Doll. I'm going to have to look up what else they do. Because I was, I've been really amazed with the owner pictures of this. Like, I think they're better than the pictures that the company took. And that's... Unusual. Oh, this box is so nice. I mean, every, the, this is very nice. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a nice box. Baby, you don't like that envelope, baby? You have to stay down there, okay? 
So the box is very nice. It's really nice. This is why my my crap corner though is like overflowing. Is like the clothing boxes. I keep them over there. I keep the clothes in them. And then when I take them out, they're still in them. So I have like those plastic drawers. <clears throat> and then I have some of those little kind of smaller totes with clothes in them. And then I have the boxes on top. I've got to figure out. Better. So it's so hard to store doll stuff. And then I always think I have like a great system and then it's not, it's not good. It's not good enough. Maybe you have to stay, you stay down there, baby. No. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's so much stuff. Oh, it's so cool. And they sent me a gift, which is like earrings. Oh, how cute. It says handmade. I'm struggling. I'm struggling today. As a human being, I'm struggling right now. Struggling. Oh, these are like... Oh, how pretty. These are really pretty doll earrings. I have a couple of pairs of doll earrings. I'm going to have to turn that light off. Let's see. At least on this phone, I can turn my light on and off. The other one, like, I couldn't. Let's see. Let me... Okay. You guys can see it. Of course, it's, it's dark. It's night. I came home and I took a nap. I was gonna. It was actually gonna be a longer nap, but the dogs wouldn't let me sleep. So, um, you can really see them. But they're pretty. You know, I keep getting a couple of these. The clothing companies have sent me these big doll earrings, and I don't really have any dolls with pierced ears. I haven't used any of them. Um, <clears throat> I saw that those conversion kits though that Kit and Cat have. And I should look at some of those and see if that's something I can use. But I remember I think in uh, Allison the Nicholas Pays and Dolls review of it, I think there was a you could do it for your resin dolls that didn't have holes. I think I watched these things and I, I'm like, paying attention and I still don't remember. I have to get old, you guys. Okay, so. We got this little package here. This is another little bubble wrap package with some stuff in it. I didn't get the, it came with, you could get a really neat little flamingo, you know, the crochet mallet from Alice in Wonderland. Which I initially was like incredibly stoked for. I was like, oh. But I have this thing with props. So when I got my With Doll Vera, she had the ice sword and I wanted it. I was going to keep it. I wound up selling it to um, uh, her her face up uh, company used to be like Sugar Glow Lights. <clears throat> God, I normally know her name right off the top of my head, but I don't today. Because I've had dolls, well, not really dolls, because I didn't do it with dolls, but I had I used to collect like uh, figures, you know, like not really action figures, but you know, they were like fantasy figures, you know, for like I had Cry for Dawn and um, a couple of those things and. And they always came with swords and stuff. And they would always fall out of their hands loudly in the case. And I'm not, like, I don't, none of them are broke. But I always think, well, this is just annoying. Because I'm, like, constantly picking this little prop up and putting it back in their hand and finding it. And it would wake me up. And I just had this vision of that happening with the dolls. And their stuff is resin. And it's a lot of times kind of delicate. And I was like, I'm just going to be crazy about this all the time. So I didn't get it. I'll probably regret it. So, you know, I haven't really seen anybody else that got it. Like the people that have posted theirs, I haven't seen it yet. I mean, it's something for somebody will eventually, but I have yet to see it. Put my glasses back on now. It's just a little, little metal tin. Oh, it's light in my room right now. It's very nice. Everything is so nicely presented. It's a gigantic silicon. That's all. There's literally all that's in here is these. Weird. I don't, why is that like that? I don't know. What's it for? They don't want the silica gel package. To, I don't, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, iPuddy. That's great because, and it's cleaner sponge. 
Which is funny because I'm I got no eyes with. Oh, maybe this is the eyes. Oh yeah, because where are my eyes? I forgot about that. Okay, well, there's eye putty and a little wiper offer for eyes. Oh, maybe these are my eyes. Oh, I bet this is this is the separate or this is by my eyes. Okay, I still don't know what the tin. What's what's with the tin? Because that came with the eyes. I don't know. These are really pretty. I was looking at them the other day. And they're galaxy eyes. Wow. Yeah, they're really pretty in person. Okay, so hopefully my stupid is gone. I'm trying to figure out if I should take them out. Well, actually, in the box they do much better. They're like a blue with the gold. I'm going to try it with the light too. In a minute, we'll see. What? I kind of found that the key to this phone focusing is to not get too close. Oh, they're really pretty. I wonder, I got, four, I got 14 millimeter. Ugh, this might be too big. So I know it says that the Poshes can take 17 or 14, but I really think, I mean 12 or 14, but I really think they need 12. These might be too big for her. I'm gonna take them out because I have kind of a. I think this one's got a weird. Oh, they got. <laughs> I'm like, why do they look like that? They have plastic on them. I've never seen that before. They're like wrapped in a protective plastic. I was like, boy, these are like handmade. I need to be real careful. I don't know if I can take that out. Like blind so I can't even see it. It's like they're almost saran wrapped in. What the heck? Do a little drain down there, baby. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I might have to have my kid look at that with her eyes that can see, but it's like. Literally, he's got them almost like in a saran wrap. That's weird. But I thought it was like an imperfection, like a bubble. That is a huge bubble. Really, really pretty. I really like to see them out of the wrap. Because they're really pretty in the wrap. And I'll look the, the guy's name up before I post the video. Um, or the company, or I don't know. I think that they're, because I think they're a handmade resin. Um, I totally forgot. I, I gotta forget I got them, but I forgot when I was opening it that they were in here. Because all I was thinking about was the dress. So, it's an interesting way to ship it because they've got it in one, like they snuck it into this, this box so, so seamlessly that I wouldn't know. I just tore the other thing with that, that it was a separate thing. So, we got the little box. It also says Biscuit Doll. So I don't remember this at all. Oh, it's so gorgeous. That rabbit ears, I don't I don't remember the rabbit ears. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. Wow. They're black. Oh. Look at those. I have no memory of these. It's probably right there in a picture. I wonder if they're... Oh, and that's... Oh, I love it. I love that they're black, too. Oh, wow. See those earrings? Look, now, see? The earrings go perfectly with this. I'm not sure. Oh, that's going to lay. Oh, that's really pretty. That's just, those are beautiful. I really like that. But I don't remember it, but I like it. And it looks very much like fur. The way they painted it. Very nice. Okay, so there's the, the headband with the ears on it. I don't remember. 
which probably as soon as I look at it, I'll be like, oh yeah, there it is. And then here's the way the dress is packaged. Which is very nice, a very nice presentation. You all know I love this paper. Back in the box, so because I, you know, I wish she was here. I was actually stocking Dolk right before I did this. Her current status is waiting shipment. So I don't know if that's on their end. See, that's the thing that I don't get with the Dolk. Um, and I'm sure somewhere I can look it up or I can ask somebody. Um, I know she's Barry Wings on Facebook and she does a lot of YouTube videos and she gets a lot of stuff from them and she has really good experiences with them and uh, my, my question is do they have them there because I think my Goodall was supposed to be in stock so does that mean she's already at their place and they ship they ship or do they order the dolls from the manufacturer and then when you buy it and then it goes to them and then they ship it or do they tell them, okay, I think that's what they do. Because that's what BJ, BJ Divas does. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, look at this. I love that. Can you see this? Yeah. It's this biscuit doll on the back. Oh, I love that. That is so pretty. Oh, that's, that's gorgeous. Love it. And then here's the pink one that I, and you can see the flamingo thing I didn't get. Is there a rabbit ears in the picture? Oh, they're covered up by the feather. Oh, maybe they did all the pictures like that. I wish they came with shoes. Like the little shoes that were in the pictures are so cute. Why oh, they never make any outfits with shoes? And a couple times I'd asked, they come with shoes? I'd go, oh yeah, and then they come, they come with shoes. It's like, oh no, they come with the... It was my, particularly a memory with Dalvira. She comes with these boot things, but not the actual boots. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not, not going to take, I probably want to take everything out of the plastic. I don't know. Oh, so, the, they have, they have really pretty, they have little embroidery on everything that's, you can tell it's handmade on there. Oh my gosh. The, like, so the back side of it, which is what will be on the doll, you won't even see it is just as beautiful as the front. So let's see if you can see it with the light on. I'm gonna try it without. I feel like it's gonna do too much glare. So this is the bustier part. It's got the little inverted part there. So then here's the back. And there's a really pretty, this right here is gorgeous with the little flower on it and the ruffle on the top it's gonna look so pretty on her and I think it'll fit her good because Peace Woods is kind of a small body doll oh I just got impressed with this already and I, there's like real the boning in it is you can feel it it's a real stiff real authentic boning it's amazing so here's the really cute, I love the stockings that came with it. I think they really make it. Um, and then there's like the petticoat underneath. I love the colors. And it's very full from the ones I've seen. It's very full and long. Oh, see so here's a head. So there's a comb in it. So I think this goes in her hair. See, I remember, I feel like I remember this, but not the ears. Or maybe they weren't photographing them up close. I don't know. The colors are so beautiful. It's expensive, but I feel like it was worth it. Wow, it's a lot of fabric. So it's not. This is the big. And this is a long, long trail, you guys. Like, it is long. It is full. I've seen, like I was telling you, I've seen a bunch of owner pictures, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of dress. And here's the other colors in here. Hopefully I'll get a shipping notice pretty soon for the doll. I'm putting it on my Peaks Goods the anniversary, the Mijo Mijo doll. I got her in, um, the lavender pink, 
I think they call it lavender pink. Um, um, with the the um, default, the full default makeup with the oh shit, some kind of like a traditional makeup on there. I I think it'll look really cute with this. Um, I have a wig for her though. And then the the uh, Nadia, the Goodall Nadia I'm getting, she has an outfit too. She's going to be very, my very first. I'm going to go full out, completely committed, bubblegum goth doll. I got a really cute um, outfit for Christmas. I don't know if I did a video for that. My daughter got it for me for Christmas, I think a year before last. And I got it for that doll because I was going to buy one then and I didn't. Because the way things always go with me with money. Um, so I'm going to do her like this little cutesy pink kawaii little bubblegum goth girl. But anyway, so that's my Biscuit Dolls outfit. I know it's not much to see it like this, but it is really pretty. It is really worth the money. I want to say it was 270 bucks. It was 270 bucks Because I think I remember, I paid... I don't know. I paid a hefty amount on it. And I remember thinking that was it. Like it was 189 And I was like, did I pay for all of it? But it was 270 I'm, I'm sure it was 270 So that, and then the eyes were, God, how much were the eyes? I want to say the eyes were 40 or 50 So they weren't terrible, you know. I got to figure out how to get that plastic off. I'm dying to see those. Um, I was actually going to order a couple more pairs because he came out with a couple new collections. And they're really pretty, you know. Um, 